Now on this street, Cardigan Road, we've got seven or eight houses. All we put in was just 1,700. And that's paying that like, every week. It's all right, fucking kids. <laughs> But properties like that. Ain't too bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that rented out. You right, mate? Drop, yo. <laughs> and this one's my first HMO. We had a big contractor bucket. Do you like, share, subscribe? Exactly. Click do all it, that good click stuff. It, click everywhere. <laughs> we spent a day with a 19 year old property investor and he's absolutely smashing it. He's got over 135 rooms under management. He's just started a new development company, an investment company. Let's go see him. So we're here now, we're at his office. Let's go in and say hi. Get a zoom in on the it logo. Is, is a size large. Um, I'll say it's got a value of about eight quid. <laughs> we'll be lucky if you are if I win this. It'll be signed. It'll, It'll be, be signed. It'll be signed and ironed before it comes in. <laughs> when did you get this office? Uh, September, I believe. Yeah, a few months ago, yeah. yeah. So it's pretty much a year after you started. Yeah. And what was the reason that you wanted to get an office? There was a few reasons. One of them was the work that was getting more. Yeah. Um, and so as we're growing, we're now we've got two men to start and we're going to be um, growing. And as well, you want productive. So yeah. I, I can't remember when I was at home, like you'd just be doing a bit of work and then you might get distracted. Or, whereas here, you know, just work it back and you get that separation. Almost like, uh, like you know, going to the gym, like people might not yeah. want to do gym, yeah. uh, like home exactly. workouts. Exactly. But if they go to the gym, they're there to do their workouts. Yeah, and it's nice to have a split in your home life and your work life. Yeah. Alright, so the day's getting on, let's get cracking. Exactly.
Right, so where are we headed now then? Uh, so we're heading down to Winton, uh, that's where most of our Bournemouth HMOs are. Yeah. Uh, so we're just heading down there, we've got a few viewings to do, um, and then just check on check the VIs as well, do a couple of inspections. just pulled up at a property so what's the deal with this one yeah so we're just doing a quick viewing now um i tend to do a lot of the viewings in bournemouth just because they're local to me um so yeah we're just gonna go in there show the tenant around hopefully they take the room yeah, we've got about 15 minutes before the tenant shows up um or if they're on time that is so <laughs> so we'll go through now and have a little look around and i'll show you the property <laughs> so, so yeah, here we've got a small, small little communal lounge for tenants to come in, sit, watch TV, chill out, yeah. uh, that sort of stuff. Uh, this house is a mixture um, between professionals and like mature students. Okay. How many uh, how many rooms is this one then? Uh, five, I think. Five, yeah. Yeah. And they've got a shared kitchen. How much are the rooms going for in here then? This one is 525. 525, um, yeah. Yeah, it's got all the basics you need. So it's got your bed, uh, lots of storage, sink in the room, yeah. room wardrobe. You know, if you're a student or a boy professional, you need to get head down at night, absolutely perfect for you. <laughs> All right, so it's uh, five past 12. Rory's in the property now. He's meant to be doing a viewing at 12 and the tenant's not showed up yet. So, you know, these are the things that go on. Sweet, sweet. What, what I'll do then is I'll, I'll check the landlord that you're, that that'd be a good situation for yourself. Um, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Right, so what was your name? Uh, Shane. So who was that there on the phone then? Uh, just prospect tenant. Yeah. Um, obviously out of the office now, everything's getting directed to my phone. Um, so yeah, just taking calls on the road, booking yeah. viewings in, filling properties up and getting paid for it. <laughs> That's, it. That's what it's about, mate. That's what it's about. So you got there, your calendar. Yeah. So the calendar will be for myself. That's what every Christmas holiday is. Uh, I'll show you before. So you've got their viewings for myself, then our members of staff. I can see all their viewings that they're doing as well. And, yep. um, and that all links to their phone. And with the management software that we use, yep. um, when it's booked in on that software, not only can they see it on the software, that also then automatically get put onto their Google Calendar as well. Oh, um, wicked. So when they do it, yeah, yeah. We was having a little chat yesterday briefly about what yeah. your plans are now. So you're looking to like systemize everything. Yeah. So as as we're growing, we've seen that one of the most important things is being organized. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the best way to do that is with a good property management software. Mm -hmm. um, the one we were using before worked brilliantly when we just had rent to rents. But as we're growing and getting more management, um, and you've got to do more tasks like, um, let's say for example, giving the landlord rent statements, yeah. and things like that, uh, making sure everything's in check. Uh, it just wasn't cut for the job, so we literally this week we've been getting a new software in, um, which is expensive, but it's wor worth its weight in gold in my opinion. It's not your head that's having the hassle; everything's just there in front yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah. Like you get reminders when tenants' contracts are expiring, when the gas certificate needs renewing. Like it's a, everything um, that you need to not only to have a, a good business, but to have everything checked off legally as well. Hello. Yes, it's Shane. Yeah, yeah, Hi, Shane. It's Rory from ESA Property again. Um, Hello, yeah, I've just spoken to the landlord. Um, are you happy with that? You'd like to come and view it today? Uh, yeah, sure. Where, where do I need to go? Um, so, what I'll do, I'll text you the address. Can you do three o'clock? Uh, yeah, of course, yeah, we can do that. Yeah? Sweet. Yeah, and then where am I supposed to meet you? Because I'm confused. That's fine. No, so my assistant's put the um, wrong address in my calendar. So, I was so what address was that for me, Anna? 
sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm driving to number 70 Cardigan Road now, so I'll be there in about a minute. Okay, then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. What's your situation? Um, I'm self-employed, but due to the pandemic, I've currently been like, cut off of work. Okay, what is it you used to do for work? Um, I work up in Bournemouth on like building sites and stuff. Alright, yeah. And where, where are you looking for somewhere? Are you looking for a place in Bournemouth or in Southampton? I'm um, in just... Alright, so we're just at the next property. Uh, he's done the viewing already. What's that? So we're just at the next one to do the viewing. Well, she just texted me and said she's going to be late, so... Back in the car waiting again. <laughs> so far today we've had one viewing which is turned up to the wrong house. Um, this viewing's now 15 minutes late. So yeah, no nice start to the day. Day in the life. Day in the <laughs> life, man. So I'll be in Southampton having a viewing at maybe 10 o'clock, quarter past 10, 10 30. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll be doing a viewing to Bournemouth for like 11. Or maybe then you've got to wait for one in Southampton. And then the then then first one will be 10 minutes late, then that one's 10 minutes late, and then you're trying to drive back to Bournemouth quickly and then, oh, yeah, we get that as well. It's such a, such a hassle. <laughs> yeah, the worst one's driving all the way to Southampton and realising you ain't got the keys. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily, I, we, we've got lockboxes outside all the houses. Yeah. So that shouldn't happen. Great little tip there, guys, as well. Hello? Hello? students at the moment um we'll go number 70 now um and we've got number 66 just there as well you can see you've got the building in there at the minute that got burnt down by a student fire oh really um, yeah so the students that are number 76 were meant to move in there but the work wasn't done in time um so yeah once they've been into there they'll be filling that out to working professionals uh this one Bingo. This one, we're going to get the drone stem in here soon. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty much perfect condition. Like, you've got a new, new kitchen. Um, you can get a fridge freezer for it. You've got the same washer dryer sort of thing. Kitchen looking nice. And you've got a little lounge at the back as well. Yeah. Earlier when I was saying that the furniture and stuff, but maybe when I was starting out I just said, yeah, this furniture, this furniture all needs to be replaced. Yeah. But all it needs to be dressed up nicely. Yeah. And it'll be good to go. That's it, mate. So yeah, rooms like this are big, big size. Yeah. They even got space for a sofa in it. Like, that's going to be desirable if you're looking for something. You're not going to care if it's got a new bed. If a mattress is comfy and it works, they're going to prefer that over a small little box room yeah. for a brand new bed of even. That's one thing we've um, noticed as well from uh, doing it ourselves is if the room's big enough and you whack a little like cheap sofa in there, um, you know, people that, that they want to bring their mates around and whatever, they don't want to just be sat on the bed. So it's nice if yeah. they've got like a sofa and something well. to sit. Mirror there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. All right, mate. Proper nice. Two brand new ones. That's I mean, that's something that the tent's going to care more about having nice bathrooms, nice utilities, and nice places and things to use rather than obviously, a bit of fancy paint. I know it's going to get decorated, but 
So even in this one, we're not going to bother with like peat walls or anything. Yeah. It's just simply going to have a whitewash um, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Yeah. It's a nice space. It is. So all the rooms are big. Yeah. Like this is so probably like the smallest room. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, guys, it's a space that sells the room. Yeah. So you could have like desks and stuff in there. To, to give you an idea, I'll show you in a sec. We've got a house at 54 Cardigan Road just down there. Yeah. We've been sort of doing viewings, or what's the word, like at the same time, showing that one and showing this one. Yeah, that yeah. That house decorated throughout, furniture's more than like leather beds, that sort of stuff. Everyone would use it, so they want to take this one. Take this one, uh, yeah, because of the, yeah. the size of it. Yeah. But uh, it's not ready yet, so they've had to take that one. But yeah, yeah, yeah. People said they prefer this one, even though from the off it doesn't look as nice, like you've got dirt and things on the walls. Yeah. But because of the size, they prefer it that much more. I'm just doing the refund now. You're right, mate. Good job, yo! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> we did a video, mate. Good job! <laughs> so we just get the refund done on that one. Um, but the landlord wants that one back on the student market. Yeah. And that was a management property. Not a uh, rent to rent. Okay. So that's getting back on the student market now. Um, and the students in 76 now moving into that one. Yeah. And um, then 76 we put on the professional market. Yeah, like I said, we've got quite a few houses on the street. Um, that one's all professional for a minute. That one we've got a company in there. Um, not like a rent to rent company. We've just got a contract with a delivery company you can see all their vans yeah. parked out the front. Which one's um, that? I number 52. Pay the room rate, but for all the rooms. All right, so what are we doing now then? Um, I was doing a quick inspection at one of my properties that we've got a guaranteed rent. I haven't been there in a few months. Yeah. Um, just because I know what you're thinking, you should be going to properties every month. Um, but the way we structured it is we've got a really, really good cleaner. Um, not only do they clean the property, they also do all the fire alarm checks, inspections, um, yeah. and all the tenants now are on 12 or 6 month contracts, so I've had no need to go there. Um, so they've all paid their rent on time, yeah. they've never had, I think there's one maintenance issue within the first month, um, but in the past three months I haven't been there, so yeah, hopefully there's nothing, <laughs> nothing unexpected, but like I said, there shouldn't be, yeah. um, because our cleaner does like a written report, um, and send us photos of the properties every time, so I can see it's kept in good condition, This one of my rent rent properties. Yeah. Like I said, I've got a key safe, enables uh, cleaners and maintenance guys will always get in. Yeah. So this one here, is this on the rent to rent? Yeah. Yeah, this is the communal lounge and uh, kitchen. Uh, Similar thing, you've got washer and dryer, lots of common space, which is exactly what you need. We put an extra fridge in, um, just so it allows that a little bit more storage space yeah. and an upgraded Wi-Fi. But apart from that, and some blue pillows, that is all we changed in this house. Yeah. So is there any painting, any new furniture, apart from these like, bar chairs, apart from that, nothing was changed. So How much do you think you've put, put it all together to get this deal? Well, all we put in was a 1,700 yeah. for um, one month. Well, it's not only five week deposit, or one month deposit. Um, first month's rent was free. Um, and it's literally everything. Maybe like 150 quid for some like, as you can see here, you've got some like communal cutlery, that sort of stuff. Yeah. And some pots and pans, that was it. But the microwave came brand new, but from the nines, like, the money that we put in was minimal. Um, and because of deposit as well, we are getting that back because we keep the house in good condition. Um, and we don't intend to not ever pay the landlord. So yeah, technically zero, because it's like, it's a deposit. Um, but yeah, 1700 we put in and it's making around 850, 900 a month. Um, and has done for the past three, four months. So far, no tenants fell behind, fell behind on rent. Um, so yeah, that's the situation. And we shouldn't have many voids either. So the two rooms down here, and two at the top, all on 12 month contracts. One guy's on the six month, um, and two are on five months or something. I don't know if I'm bad, but yeah, <laughs> everyone's on sort of five, six month contracts plus. Yeah. So that's what we like. Yeah, yeah. that's what we like to do. Yeah, wise, I've only had to do one thing so far, and that has changed that LED light upstairs there. Apart from that, 
I've done nothing really in the past three or four months. But not in properties like that. Yeah. But <laughs> but yeah, for the past three or four months, it's been absolute dream. Yes. Nothing. We were just saying the second. And point. apparently, a man to hold him lived there. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. But apparently, <laughs> she did. So <laughs> the selling point of it. You were saying um, just before you came here, this is like one of his his best ones that he's taken on. Uh -huh. um, it's just it's not caused him any problems whatsoever. Tenants are in here for what six months. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got, we've got quite large minor tenants, so a lot of houses get younger people. This one, I'd say the average age is maybe 30, so everyone's a lot more considerate. So, like, people will be like, oh, they're not thinking, oh, someone else will do it. Yeah, they're thinking more like, oh, how can I do this to have this? Like, we got this chat to a tenant last night, you're saying, oh, yeah, we can maybe do this to help with the bins and stuff. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, quite often be a problem, so yeah, it's, it's good just to like, get like, that like, thoughtful a lot better you create like a little like, community yeah. within the yeah. property especially when you get the younger houses it yeah. can be an issue of people just doing that so much but yeah yeah So where are we off to now then? Uh, it's going to one of my other houses. Uh, one of the tenants reported that there's, the bins have not been collected and that the council still haven't delivered uh, oh, yeah. one of the replacement bins. Yeah. For some reason this house has one general waste, waste and one recycling and the rubbish is just building up, building up, building up. And it's taken about three months for the council to finally go, oh yeah, we'll give you another bin. This one we've paid two, three times already to get it. Um, just a rubbish taken away privately, um, which obviously comes out of our pocket, yeah. which is not ideal. So here we are, the next one. This is a six foot HMO. Um, as you can see, we've got this for six people's general waste for the last two weeks. And then you've got that on the side of them. And then that's the aftermath of it. And that's the capsule taking three months and not delivering. But you had that empty twice already. A private collection so what i'll do now is i'll just call up our private bingo and get that clear that's going to be another 85 quid probably yeah. that paying. and that's paying like every week Jesus. um which obviously comes out of our profit yeah which is obviously something you don't factor in yeah, yeah, yeah. especially when it's not our fault it's the council's fault yeah. um when you're getting the deal so selling the bill <laughs> So we're on the motorway now, on our way up to Southampton. We've got a few bits that he's going to be doing here. Um, what we're also going to see is the first rent-to-rent -rent deal that Rory took on as well. Um, so we're going to have a chat about that, see what the numbers are like, and also see what things he's learned from taking on that first deal, and if there's anything that you do different going forward. So keep watching to the end, and uh, yeah, if you haven't smashed that like button already, you know what to do. Quick little pit stop. Chicken man. Perfect. So I'll head over there after I've done these views this afternoon and get some photos and then get that advertised. Okay, yeah, but uh, eight, nine. So, quick question um, What are your goals for 2021? It's not really a goal for 2021, but um, the sort of next stage that I want to get to is sort of. 10k net a month, um, and not just sort of one off month, um, sort of month on month, yeah. um, as a sort of absolute minimum, like minimum standard. Um, yeah, that's our sort of main goal. So you're looking at doing that with rent to rent? Uh, rent to rent and management, yeah. so yeah, a mixture of the two. Okay, and uh, what about some other goals as well? Are you looking to buy properties Yeah, so, so we're looking to buy a property at the minute. Uh, we're just sort of looking, sort of start a journey, something small, uh, yeah. me and the mate might be looking. <coughs> <laughs> My throat's gone there. Um, it's yeah. one of them Mackey's chips. <laughs> yeah, me and a mate of mine, we're looking at buying a, maybe like a little small flat or something, doing it up, flipping it. Um, yeah. We're just sort of working our way up, just sort of like bigger projects. Let's talk a little bit about your um, development company and also your investment company. Yeah, so the investment company uh, works very well with the management company. Uh, so if there's ever like a rent rent or something like that that we don't want, uh, we can source that on to an investor. Yeah. Uh, it's not something that I put loads of effort in, just because it's not something that I do, but as and when they come about, 
Uh, we will sell those on for a fee. And it also works with other things. If there was like a refurb job that wanted to be sold on, uh, that's what we'll, we'll sell it through that company just to keep the different streams of income separate. Yeah. Uh, and then the development company as well. That is, it's a new thing. Uh, that that's looking to be development and construction companies, two separate, um, two separate fields. But we're still in the starting process of that. Yeah. And uh, yeah. looking for our first property at the minute. We were meant to take a look at a potential property today. Uh, but the viewing got cancelled um, and I'm going all the viewings tomorrow unfortunately so <laughs> you won't be able to see any of those today nah. but we will do a part two guys if, uh, if you guys like this um, another thing I wanted to ask is when you got into rent to rent did you see it more as like um, a way to gain experience and knowledge um, like you didn't think that rent to rent was going to be the only thing that you was doing did you see it as like an easy way to get um, into the property and get the experience and the knowledge? I just thought it was a good way to set up and start cash flowing. Yeah, start cash flowing. It's almost like make just to make a business, really, yeah. and something which is making money each month, where it's not directly before the amount of hours you put in. Uh huh. So like a job. Wicked. Um, yeah, I mean, like a lot of we've said it a few times on our channel. Um, like running the business or starting a business or doing rent to rent can be hard, but so mm. is working a nine to five job and you know getting getting up each day to do you know that work. So it's just which yeah, hard yeah. do you would you rather do? That's what I mean. You choose your hard, but it's something that I enjoy. Yeah, like I've always had an interest in it, so I don't. That's the main thing. It. I'm not going to say it's not about the money, but I enjoy what I do. Uh -huh. like, obviously, of course you're, you're, you're in you're, it to make money. You're so. running the business to make money. Yeah, yeah but. Like if I want to have a day off, do something, I can do it. Yeah, like yeah. there's nothing stopping me. Like today, um, I might not have been spending as much time in the office as what I might normally have done. Mm -hmm. um, but I can do that, you know. I'm not like refined or restrained or something. Yeah. If I want to fuck off Monday tomorrow, nothing stopping me. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And that, that's Growing nice. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. That that is another factor, but. Yeah, he's having the freedom as well. Yeah, so if yeah. I want to do something, I can do it. Oh, I'll drop the front, yeah, I can't see you. What car are you in? A white BMW. I'm in a Grand Furniture. Oh, yeah, I know. Are you on the end there? Is that blue Focus just turning? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm in that white Focus behind you. Oh, sweet. I'll jump out now. How did that viewing go? Oh yeah, it was good, yeah, I reckon you'll take it. Yeah. Um, yeah, perfect sort of scenario. Yeah, on to the next now. Yeah, that's, and that's a especially special viewing. Do you know why? Why? Because it's up there the property. <laughs> <laughs> it's up there, HMO. Um, so we had a, I'll show you the other property that it was in regard to, but we had a big contractor book in. Yeah. So we had uh, a delivery company that had a contract, a big contract of Amazon over Christmas. Take oh, so 16 rooms at once. Yeah. Um, and luckily we had a nine bed, I think it was nine or 10 bed property. Yeah, yeah. Um, that we could, that we were able to fill with that and then use some of the rooms in your HMO as well. Um, some of them have stayed on, some of them have left now. So we've got a few rooms to fill. Yeah. Uh, and we're just doing viewings of that as well. But luckily, uh, we've only got two rooms available now, or yeah. two rooms left, because the day they moved out, we've got another contract booking for HMOs um, with a security company that got contract on Amazon, which ain't too bad. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, Amazon's going to carry on running throughout this. Yeah, of course, and so is a security company. Yeah. If anything, more so because if people aren't at work and at their offices and that, yeah. then they don't want to be leaving commercial buildings uh, uh, a vulnerable, vulnerable place. Yeah, yeah. And I know it's something people would normally associate contract bookings with like service accommodation, that sort of stuff. But, you know, if, if a company's paying for something, they want something that's affordable at the same time. Yeah, 100%. Um, Our fist fled down, we've got a one bed flat that we've got to let at the minute. Um, yeah. Both viewings are confirmed, which is good. Um, so yeah, 
That's one of the, that's another task that we've got outsourced. Yeah. My assistant just messaged everyone an hour before. Uh -huh. I don't reply an hour before. Um, then 30 minutes before, she'll try and get record. Then I was like, cool. Yeah, then the viewing right. gets cancelled. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's a waste of my time, theirs. And yeah, if they can't be asked to be answer their phone 30 minutes before, then that's, that's their fault, quite frankly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, all the viewings so far are confirmed, which is good. So hopefully, we're not wasting any time today. Yeah. So we like say to that, but they'll probably still won't turn up. <laughs> <laughs> or they'll be like 20 minutes late or something. So how many viewings is that so far today? That's like four or five, isn't it? Well, we've done one, two, three, four. We, we were on six a day. Six, um, yeah. And then Lydia, who works with me, has done one, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that's quite a few viewings. Um, that's wicked. Yeah. So let's talk quickly about um, your employee. So where did you find her and um, Wait, uh, the one that does the viewings in Southampton? Uh, indeed, so I put a job advert on Indeed. Mm -hmm. We employed someone who just does viewings on a part-time basis uh -huh. and gets paid like a commission for uh, finding the tenant and uh, for doing the viewings. Yeah, so that then gives me a lot more time to not only focus on improving the business, um, but in day-to-day -day management, getting new landlords, etc. So, Spending a lot less time on the road, basically. Yeah, yeah. I still probably come to Southampton two, three times a week. Yeah. Um, but it will be more for uh, business purposes rather yeah. than just doing viewings. Or if I am here, I will just do the odd, the odd viewing like today. Yeah, um, yeah. Saying that I believe the viewing is outside. That's always a way to tell. People who look no. curious, not they're looking for something. <laughs> Either he's going to be breaking into the house tonight, or he's waiting for the viewing. Um, I reckon that's it. Yeah, I reckon that's it. Yeah. So that rented out. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lovely job, mate. How much? Uh, four fifty. Four fifty, yeah. Oh, it's a good few viewings done today then. So where are we going now? Uh, so yeah, we're just going over to like Mansfield, which is just sort of outside Southampton uh, yep. near Swadeland. Uh, got a one bed flat uh, that's ready to let. Uh, we've had that on the market since just before Christmas, so it's been a lot longer than we what, what we would have ideally wanted. Um, but it's a Christmas period, so it's a, a little bit slow. Yeah, like, yeah. Late, late December, early January is always the slowest time of the year for us, uh, let alone when there's all the coronavirus stuff going on so yeah yeah and then after that what we're we doing we're going to the the first one that you took on yeah so we've got two viewings to do there then we'll go down to the first one uh hopefully i'll get some good news back from uh lydia who works with me in southampton uh hopefully some of those rooms have been let yeah. she's been doing quite a lot of viewings there today so out of the 137 rooms that you're managing at the moment how many are taken and how many are empty i do not know <laughs> 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 um, well, all of our, I say all of our, so out of rent to rents that we've got, yeah. we have one room technically available, uh -huh. um, and that's in the first house that we're going to go to in a set. Um, one of the other rooms is empty, someone's left early, but they're still paid up for like another two weeks or something, uh -huh. um, so it's not technically empty yet. Um, and then on management, yeah, I just don't really know. Like with management, um, there's no risk of you know having to guarantee the rent to the landlords and the, the, you know if the property's empty you have it, to do that. It's a, it's a weird one to be honest. So I'd say that it's more pressure when you're doing it for a landlord mm -hmm. um, on a percentage fee because if it's you if you if you're on a rent to rent you're basically the landlord for it. Yeah. So if you get a bad tenant, it's just your issue to deal with. Uh -huh. um, and you know oh that's your you've made a mistake. That's it. Whereas if it's a management and you, you know, the landlord's paying you for a professional service. Yeah. Um, so if you get a bad tenant in there, there's a lot more sort of pressure because he's getting you in to try and avoid that. Yeah. So I say there's a lot more pressure to get good tenants um, and do a, a good job than there is otherwise. I'd say. Yeah. So both of them really have their like their positives yeah. and negatives. Yeah. Um, but in if you're talking just from a monetary and risk point of view there's a lot less risk with management, management yeah. and the reason why a lot of our management properties have come about have been so we might it might be the land that we were negotiating with for a guaranteed rent and couldn't come to a price that he's happy with 
Um, so so then we've gone. We'll yeah, yeah, so we've said, okay, then we'll do management them because it's not going to be a price where it's worthwhile for us or you on rent to rent. So we'll do management, then both of us win. So we still both profit from, from the deal. Yeah. Damn. Like that. All in pretty good condition, recently refurbished, brand new tiles. All friends look like that. It comes with a lot of kids. Got a nice little cosy living room. And we've got a nice, nice bedroom. What more would you want? So you've just done two viewings there for that flat that we just seen. And I'd say they both loved it. Yeah, well, the first person loved it. Um, yeah. The second people wanted a bit more space. Yeah. Um, so to be honest, it's a one-way flat, baby. Most things are made moving out on a hip to bow, so there's not a massive living room. Uh, the bedroom's were okay size, so it would be best to suit someone sort of making their way up, um, yeah. which is what the first food was. Uh, the second one, they needed some more space, and they worked from home. Uh, so what we've done is we've arranged them another view in a different property just slightly over the budget they wanted um, but you know they've seen the video tour and they think they'd be willing to pay that little bit extra for uh, something which is slightly more premium that's wicked then it's a good result then yeah, yeah, yeah. Both yeah. Them. so now what we're doing we're going to your first deal that you ever took on yeah yeah it was literally just around the corner about two minutes away wicked. Um, go there take a look at it we'll see you there <laughs> so this one was my first HMO um, on a guaranteed rent basis. And um, this is one of the rooms that I've got available at the minute. Um, as you can see, when the rooms available, we set it out nicely uh, to make it look homely. Uh, this room was just like simple little things like that. There was a bed in, like a little clock, a little like, four pound IKEA plant, just little things like that just to make it feel at home when someone's looking around. Um, just because if someone's moving into a property to live in, it's an emotional decision. Uh -huh. So you want them to like imagine themselves living here. Yeah. Um, so yeah. since this is your first deal, is there anything that you do different? Yeah, of course. So as you probably see, we put new carpet in. We for some reason painted that magnolia of all <laughs> <laughs> of all colours. Um, brand new furniture. Like looking back at it now, the furniture was probably good enough to stay. Yeah. yeah. Um, the carpet they did need replacing. Like they were like blue carpet like just put on top of like cream carpet so yeah, yeah that yeah. was all i know you were speaking to me yesterday briefly um saying that some of your first deals or maybe even this deal mm -hmm. like you wouldn't have even touched like with yeah. the knowledge that you know now. so part of that is it's not getting the rents that i thought it would uh -huh. i was too optimistic of the rent so i thought i was going to get like 550 um you know the, the most i'm getting in one of those is 500 um this one we're getting more sort of 450 so you know, I was thinking this deal is going to be doing like 12, 1300 pound profit. It's still doing well. It's yeah. still doing like 800 pounds, 750, which is still good, um, but it's just not what I was expecting. Do you have like a minimum that you look at? So for example, we, we look at 750 minimum uh, with voids. Is there anything that you look at? To be honest, I'd probably say the closest to a grand, unless it was, well now that is, unless- That with voids or? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about the same as us, really. Yeah, Unless it was like an immaculate property, mm -hmm. and I know there's going to be pretty much no voice. So, yeah. For example, we've got a brand new house which is getting developed at the minute. Um, first time landlord or landlady, and they're looking. They wanted the guaranteed rent, uh -huh. um, and but that that's not going to be immaculate. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we we know that there's not going to be many voice there, mm -hmm. and the on suite rooms, and there's yeah. two studios there. So we know full well that that's almost never going to be empty. Yeah, that, that you know, every time someone sees it, they think, well, every time it comes available, there's going to be four or five people wanting it. Yeah, definitely. So like you, I remember speaking to you a few months ago as well, and you mentioned how, you know, a, a nicer property in a nicer area, you're just getting few and, um, you know, like loads of people yeah. message. So we, we haven't seen the house today, but we've got an eight bed house 
right in the centre of Southampton. Yeah. Now we were paying like two thousand eight hundred a month for that house. Uh huh. But that house is bringing in nearly five grand a month. Jeez. In rent. Yeah. Like that house is doing like eighteen hundred pound a month profit. Yeah. Which Decent. is like, and you know we've had tenants move in. Well, we've been in one tenant move out since we got it. Yeah. And we've had it for seven months now, and that room, for funny enough, that room we filled it twice over because someone moved in and tried to sue us for various various reasons <laughs> I won't go into. Um, but you know that 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 was all settled outside the court, um, and a new person moved in within a week. Yeah, yeah. So like, that's the margin there. All on suite rooms. Yeah, um, that's one what you want. Yeah. I mean, well, one thing that we've known, uh, well, we've noticed straight away is from doing like dummy ads. Um, you know, with with the, I think we've done it for one of our YouTube videos. As soon as you've got a non-suite room. The, the difference between how many people actually want yeah, to do that is like through the roof. In. And even, yeah. even in this one, so this house has got three bathrooms. Yeah. So I thought, oh, I'll, That's I'll, a good I'll, ratio, probably, yeah. I'll, I'll probably be able to get close to our suite rooms. Yeah. But it's still not the same. Yeah. Like, there's one nice bar. I'll say there's two nice bathrooms. So everyone chooses those. So uh -huh. It doesn't really. Yeah, one, yeah. one thing that we look for as well, me and Steven, is we look for um, a, a nice property that's you know good condition. Yeah. There's not much money to put in, not much work to do, yeah. uh, in a nice area, and it's going to attract good tenants. Yeah. So yeah, so that, that's one of the reasons why I wouldn't look to take this on now, just because I don't think the return is there okay. as I want it mm. um, for the work that's required. So for example, that eight bed, like we could probably put like ten grand into that. Yeah. But it's, it's worth, worth it. its weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just like things like a paint job and new furniture, uh -huh. which in the first was needed, but it, it's getting nearly two grand a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which so like over like five, five, six yeah. months a month, and that's like easily getting. You know, we're on two of the rooms, so we've got the one bed flat on the top. Mm -hmm. This is set eight bed H and O, but the eighth room essentially is a one bed flat. Mm -hmm. um, and now when we did our numbers, we thought we might be able to get eight hundred pound a month for that. Um, next time this that goes to the market, we're going to be looking for 11, 1200. Yeah, jeez. So, <laughs> that's what you want. Yeah, that's healthy. Yeah. And then the, the, there's a big room at the front, which is probably, oh, this is a big room. Yeah. One of the rooms in the house is probably double the size of this. Yeah. And it's got an ensuite, not uh, taking up any of the space. Yeah. So that one, we're going to be going more close to 800. Yeah, nice. Um, so, yeah, so the numbers are going to be going up. Sorry? And then 450 rent and then five week deposit, so whatever that works out as five weeks. Five, okay, 450 is the rent and a five week deposit. Yeah. Okay. Okay, perfect. So, where are we going now then? Yeah, so now we're just going over to a three bed property. And um, this was actually the old reason why I was in Southampton today. Because um, <laughs> we've got a new property that we're adding to uh, the list. This is just a three bed single let apartment. Um, or a house, I don't know. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go over there and just get some photos done. Normally what happens is that like, the landlord will send you some photos that they've got and it's like portrait photos, yeah, like, yeah. pixelated and like a 45 degree angle and it's, it's, it's never gonna sell the property basically. Um, so we'll go there, we'll get some nice wide, get some proper ones. Yeah, get some widescreen photos, just so it looks good when you're advertising it, so people clip on it, engage and, and put the view in. Yeah, so we've just been to this property now. Uh, this is a new property, so we don't have any photos for it at the moment. And the photos that the landlord had weren't great. Uh, so what we're doing, we're just taking photos and most importantly doing a video tour. We do video viewings because it cuts time wasted, so everyone who's coming to view the property knows exactly what they're getting into. You know, everyone knows photos can lie. And like you were saying earlier, Stephen, because of COVID and that, some people are wanting to come and view. So more and more people are uh, taking properties without seeing them, especially during the first lockdown. And um, this is something that we've always done, so we were able to fill lots and lots of properties. Um, well, I've said a lot of really had a couple of rooms, but the properties that we did fill, we filled them up doing, we filled them up doing viewings. So it, yeah, yeah well, when, when it was the first lockdown, we had some prospect tenants come, and then we kind of around, yeah. they're like almost scared to go anywhere near us. So if we'd have done video viewings at the time, it would have been so much easier for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, for time as well, it would have saved us the time going up there, the petrol. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's what I would have 
point earlier. So obviously being based in Bournemouth and having properties in Southampton, sometimes if someone's going to view it, that saves you that 30 minute yeah, trip back, that yeah. 30 minute trip back, yeah. the 10, 15 minutes on the viewing. So it's saving you time and money, um, which, you know, who wouldn't want to do that? Yeah. And most of all, free. Like, like we put most of our videos on YouTube so it's easily accessible. Um, I don't make any money from it like you guys, but... <laughs> <laughs>
um, and I was only taking a minimum wage. But now it's getting a lot more profitable, so I'm taking a slightly large chunk. So Lord Alexandrius said, how did you get started? Uh, just sort of speaking to people at a place where I worked and they lived in Hayton Road. So I saw that they're paying five hundred pound a month for a room, but you can rent a corporate house for a grand. Um, so I just thought, oh, you can rent a grand then, not thinking about bills. So that's what sort of got me started thinking about it. Um, and you were young then, like what, 16? You said you were 16, 17. Yeah, I was 16, 17. And last one is from Faraz Badge 190. Is it realistic to start a rent to rent business with only three to four K in London? Yeah, of course. I'd say if you're going to do that, number one, don't quit your job when you get one. Um, I'd say use the profits from that to invest in other ones. Um, but yeah, I'd say you want to be looking at ones which are pretty much ready to go. Um, as you saw earlier, we went to a house where the startup cost was about 1900 quid for a deposit and some beds and cupboard and that sort of stuff. So yeah, of course it's possible. Um, I don't know what the London rents are like, but I'm sure it wouldn't be much more than three grand a month. And if that's the case, then get a small property. You know, like the rent's going to be based on how many rooms there are. So you know, don't try and get a 12 bed house. Start with four. If that's all really that money for the Don't do what we do. Start with 15 rooms. No, for three grand, don't spend all of that on the property. Because if you do that, and then you get a little void straight away if something goes wrong, then you've got. Yeah, you need yeah. some like safety so, to pay the rent. Yeah, that's why I'm definitely a lot more relaxed now because we've got a bit of cash in the bank just through. So it means that if something went wrong, even if all my rent to rent well, broke even or was starting to lose a bit of money, it wouldn't go under. Mm. I'll be able to get through it, so it's nice to have that sort of contingency fund. Yeah. Um, good. yeah. What would you say as well for uh, any person who's new to rent to rent or new to managing properties? What would be your, your, like, your number one bit of advice for someone who's looking to get into it? Yeah, it just be getting to know the market because um, obviously that is where you're going to be operating and you're going to be getting a product that's going to be a house in that market so knowing what's going to work. Um, so to give you an idea, I would say Southampton's very oversaturated for just normal double rooms or single rooms whereas the ensuite market is booming. Yes. So yeah, know what, know what the market is because then if you get, you get something which is always in demand, you're going to have less boards and make more money. Wicked. And um, obviously you've, you started um, just over a year ago, was it a year and a half now? Yeah, about. Um, and obviously you've just been smashing it since you started. So uh, one thing that we've noticed about you is you're always trying to you know, find like different alternatives if it's not going to work the way that you originally look at. So, yeah. um, for example, you're doing the management if you can't agree on a rent to rent, or you're doing a tenant fine for a landlord, and you're always trying to find a way we can help out uh, and stuff like that. So yeah, so most of the management properties you've seen today, especially in Bournemouth, um, they will come off the back of like not a fair rent property agreement, but uh, we had a rent rent property with that landlord. He wasn't happy with the estate agent um, and wanted to get more on rent to rent, but we couldn't agree on the price. Um, so it didn't happen. What did happen is he wanted to see, oh, he could see that we were making X amount of money with this property on rent to rent. Uh, this one fact, people said, no, why would why wouldn't the landlord yeah, yeah, just yeah. do it himself when this one has? Yeah. Um, he's seen that we're making this much money each month and gone, you know what, why don't I just get to manage it? Mm -hmm. We now manage it for a percentage fee each month, so we still make money from it, but he's just, he's still happy. He's, he, yeah, yeah, he's happy to see how much more. Sweet, and also I want to ask, um, yeah, so you've been doing it for a good year and a half now, is there anything looking back, even looking back over the past year, is there anything that you would do differently? Yeah, so the main thing I would do differently is when starting out, um, I'd look to put less money into houses as you're getting them, yeah. just to mean you can grow quicker. Like, just think, imagine if I only had houses which were like a 700 pound stuff, which were like two grand stuff, but so that, that could have been, I could have got six houses, and I got two. Yeah, yeah. And it's still a similar sort of profit. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you have a low start price, you're getting a much higher return on investment. Um, sometimes you can negotiate better. Like recently, I've had like a ten grand refurb. Um, most of that was furniture because it was like eight per house. 
Yeah. Um, but that's what I've got. I've donated two grand for profit. Yeah. So um, just touch on that. So that that one, you're going to make your money back within like five six months. I made about in like two months. Oh, in like two months. Yeah, we had a one month rent free. Um, but because when I this one can never tip, but on the viewing, I'll be doing like video tours and that. Now the property weren't in great condition, but it meant that I was able to show people what the house looked like and said, look, here's another group work we've done. This is how big the room is and how it looks like, but it's going to be to that standard. Yeah, yeah. So I had people interested in viewing it the day it's after you the day after you collect the keys. That's a great tip. Yeah, the day after, for that one. <laughs> the day after you collect the keys. Um, but the mistake we made is we did the best room at first, and this room was like bigger than the soft so it was huge. Yeah. Um, so everyone was seen that room, and yeah, well, that, well, that, well, that, yeah. you know, we've got other rooms, mate. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that room was gone straight away. So, um, but yeah, because we had that first one spring free, all the rent we made in that first month was pure profit. Yeah, yeah. Um, so like with, with a deal like that, compared to when we was at the first property that you took on, yeah. you mentioned that you couldn't get the rents that you thought you was going to get. So that yeah. one, and so you've got a lot of money in that one. Yeah. So it was so now, so now it's the opposite. So I think it's a case of you're starting, I'm starting out and I wanted it to work, if, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I, I wanted it to work so I would make the numbers and make the numbers make it work. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Whereas now I'm more, well, is it, is it German, but more business minded at that. Yeah. It's going to get that, it's like a yes or no. Whereas in that, in that recent one, the eight bed, it's the complete opposite. So now, next to us, so it's about 1800 profit a month, a month at the moment. Um, now, the next time some of these rooms comes available, it's got one bed flat on the top. I know it's an but it's got one bed flat on the top. We thought we were going to be getting about 800 pounds a month for that when we first did the numbers. It's now running up to the ground. Uh, next time that comes available, that's going to run up for like 11, 1150 or 500. Yeah. So, like, the profit's going to go again, and that big room. A super super big room that's going to be going up by about seven pound a month just because I think there's nothing else like it on the market yeah. and there's demand for it so it just goes to show like every single deal is different and that, yeah. I mean yeah. it's not going to be one way mm. you know it's a set three grand to you know get the yeah. profit up to standard and whatever um, this is definitely doable starting with like two or three grand yeah but, but it's, it's, the only thing I say is just don't make it really come straight away yeah. just don't take any money from the business when there's like a more of a hobby on the side and then just keep investing those profits until it gets to a point where yeah. you don't even notice your wage coming out of it. Yeah, yeah, because that's what you said earlier. <coughs> you sort of wish that you stayed in your job longer. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, if I hadn't spent so much money on the refurbs, then I wouldn't have needed to do it. Well, if, if I had spent like two grand there, then I could have got more profit. Yeah, yeah. But the only reason I wish I stayed in my job was it meant I would have to put more money into the next deal. Yeah. And so I have to wait a few months for that profit to build up and then reinvest it. And yeah. also, like, it's just a learning curve, isn't it? Like, um, you, you're only going to learn by doing it and um, get the experience by doing it. As long as you don't make a mistake twice. Yeah, yeah. It? So you make a mistake, you, you learn from it, and then never forget the lesson. And yeah. Strap on. yeah. So, with tennis stuff, like a bad tennis, you, yeah. know, you won't do that again. Um, one of those things. Yeah, that's it. All right, sweet. That wraps it up. Yeah, so if you like these sorts of videos, it's the first time we've done a day in the life. We're looking at doing quite a few other people as well. Do a little series of them. We're gonna also uh, do part two with Rory as well, maybe six months or 12 months down the line, and see how he's getting on. Let us know in the comments if you wanna see that. If you don't like this guy, then we won't bring it back. We won't be doing the part two. Yeah, if there's anyone else in particular that you want that you want us to actually do a day in the life of, just comment below and then we'll try and make that happen and see what we can do. But yeah, yeah. for now, drop your comments, treat yourself as well whilst you're doing that. Yeah, you got to get the, uh, the old kind of thing is out. You got to do that, bro. Subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. <laughs> Smash up the likes. The please. links are up there. <laughs>